Uh, one of the comments is, do you use namespaces? And the answer is yes, always on everything. <laughs> that's 100%. Um, yep, yep. That's probably a good thing to mention here too. So um, for people who aren't familiar with what namespaces really are, they're literally everything you're seeing here. Using system.collection, using Unity Engine, using random. These are all namespaces. And all that a namespace is, is think of it like a folder for uh, a, a single script. But the difference is the folders distributed across your files. So everything in the same namespace all gets lumped into the same box. And when you give your code to other people, you're at risk of having collisions with their stuff. A good example of this being system.random and unity agent.random. Like these are two different systems that exist in isolation that both want to have something called a random. Um, and so it does it does you a service and everyone else who uses your code as service to namespace everything you do. And that way, people know it's jasons.random for everything to do with that particular thing. Um, as for what you should use for a namespace, I usually recommend um, you name um, it based on the project or you name it based on what the actual thing is, the, the concept. Yeah. Well, I, well, the first like a com thing? Myself. Yeah, I don't like I, it either. To be no, I, I just use, like, literally, it would be, it might be infallible code or it might be, uh, in this case, it would be Jenga system, Jenga game. Jenga, whatever. Jenga game. Yeah. Yeah. That way, I, I every... overthink it. Uh, to yeah. be honest, I'm really like, well, this is a game first of all, and it's in Unity, <laughs> so Unity, and it's a game, and it's oh. Jenga. <laughs> nah, you can just put yeah. Jenga. Here's an interesting thing to note too, if you guys are writer users, um, you know, this bothers the heck out of me. It'll be like, hey, uh, did you mean project uh, scripts? Is that? Was oh that what yeah, you mean? yeah, well, I hate when it does that. You can or go assets here. dot projects. That's right. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. A way you can do that is you can, in the actual uh, Unity Explorer here on the left, you can right-click the folder, hit Properties, and you just uncheck Namespace Provider, and then it will no longer, uh, it'll no longer suggest that. I didn't know that. I used to, what I, what I used to do is I used to just turn off the um, suggestions for my namespace and say, I'll do my own namespaces. I don't, I don't need you to tell me how to do namespaces, right? Uh, yeah, so that's right, probably exactly. a better approach because it, it does, it does let it still autocomplete. That's what I always do. I don't know why it's going. It says move to global namespace. There's, I think there's another way to like actually say, hey, what, what you want the project to, to automatically namespace to. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I always do. And, and and in the question of namespaces, it can be obviously a bit tedious to wrap every single script you write in a namespace. And this comes back to what we said earlier: make a new template file, make a yeah. new base template. Um, for your entire Unity instance, and every new model behavior you create will have a namespace with your name on it and sort of cleaner functions. Um, I will, I will actually post the link Ooh. to the, the old video I wrote, I made, and I will I'll put it in the link in this description of this video. I wonder if this uh, will work. The, I I just set the root namespace of this project. In, in the actual, like, if you go to the... I, I, you're going to give it dangerous here. I don't like messing with namespaces for, for that, uh, if you, for all projects, because you're going to end up getting collisions with odd <laughs> stuff. But Come you're, on. Only way you're to driving. Learn. I'm, I'm letting you the only take way to learn is to fail miserably. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call this... Uh, it, doesn't like, it doesn't like Jenga because it doesn't, it doesn't have, recognize that as a word. Look, this computer. Mm. All right, now it does. hey -o. There you go. What happened? Oh, let me see if I make a new, um, a new script. So Unity, go to scripts. I'm going to say add. I know there's a mono behavior here somewhere. Behavior C sharp script. Test script. Hey, look, it did it. OK, nice. Eh, you know, just something to explore. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, how does Unity like that, though, if you go back to Unity? Oh, that's a good point. Right, let me make it again. Um, um, my yeah, I, I'm in agreement. I, I don't recommend using your actual name for your namespaces. I have done from time to time, and I usually do when I'm releasing it as educational material or something, just so that I have a reference and people know where to go to get more information on it. Um, but if, you're, if you've built a library for people to consume, don't put your name. Sometimes you have a company name you might use. Again, depends whether it's a, a product or something that people might want support for. Um, but as a general rule, name it based on the project it is. So for example, my technically my company name is called Darker Smile, uh, and I work with a... a contracting firm for producing projects uh, called Fire Panda. And so whenever we make work, I will prefix it with Fire Panda dot Jenga system. And then it would be our code inside of this particular project. It's not complaining about it. There we go. I guess we, we, we learned something new today. Yeah. Until it, until it blows up in your face. Yeah. <laughs>